time, if we could accumulate the resources that we need, this could be the time that you could build your empire, build your legacy. If you guys are joining us here, I'm Sarah, I'm here with Dr. Joey Yap, and we've been talking about lots of things, investments, feng shui, now about business, and we're here at Impression City in Malacca, so. Right, thank you. I'm gonna go straight into it and ask you a ton of questions. Go ahead. Okay, let's first talk about this big elephant, mm -hmm. coronavirus, mm -hmm. and the pandemic that's affected this world. So right. there's just this energy about 2020 that it's just, ugh. That's not so great. It's not so great. Yeah. Um, but. In this situation, what do we do? Do we just like sit around? Do we do we do something? I mean, you know, it feels like the world is at a standstill right now. Okay, there, there are five things that we need to do in, in a situation like this, right? Okay. The first thing we, we want we must do is not panic. Okay. Okay. That's the worst uh, if we panic because when panic paralyzes us and we cannot make uh, de decisions, when panic causes us to feel desperate mm. and never make any decisions when we are desperate, you will always be wrong. It, okay. it comes from a place of fear, right? right? Yeah. Uh, desperation, we, you, you don't know what to do, okay? That's the first thing. Uh, number two, we got to focus on uh, growth. This yeah. is very important, expansion. So now, when we say we're expansion is this, most people are, are pulling back right now. Yes. Most people, 90%, 95% of the people will say is they want to shrink down, they're going to cut sizes, right? They want to be smaller. So you got to think opposite of this and move forward. So this is where we actually expand and not grow. So to the best of your ability, uh, you want to be able to be ahead of all the competitors. Yeah. Okay, this is the second thing, right? The, thing, the third thing is this, there's, there, people still need to have a house to stay. Yeah. People still need to eat. Yeah. People still need to you know, be entertained, yeah. right? Look at, look at during the lockdown, right? Everyone needs looking for entertainment. <laughs> okay, so, so there's always a direction of growth. So follow the money. This is very, very important. Follow the money, Number all right? Number four, follow the money. Okay, you got to follow the money. Yeah. Now, this is the third thing, right? okay, follow the money, right? right? Yeah. The fourth thing is this. Think about uh, side gig or side income because now is the best time to make more cash. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when people are contracting and you need to expand, you got to have some cash. And cash, guess what? Cash is not going to fall from the skies. So what you want to do is you take the excess time that we have right now and convert that into money. So the fourth thing, is to have a side income. And the fifth thing, we talk about investing. Yes. Okay, so there are five steps. Now, of course, when we talk about feng shui, when we talk about metaphysics, we use metaphysics to support these five things. If you are really at the panic stage, which a lot of people, 70% of people are at the panic stage, then you gotta use feng shui to calm yourself down because it's energy anyway. It takes as much energy yeah. to feel relaxed and to feel panicky, yeah. okay? To hate someone requires energy too, you know, right? So even if you want to cold war with, with, with your, your, your spouse, that requires energy. Might as well use that in a more positive way. Mm -hmm. So feng shui emphasizes on the use of energy, your vibrational energy. So that's one of the things that we can do, right? So, and if you're talking about expanding, right? Expanding requires creativity. Mm -hmm. To be able to come up with solutions. You see, the new norm has given us new problems. Okay, all of us now have new problems and what do we need to do? We need to come up with new solutions. To do that, you need to be creative. What hurts a lot of people is that they want things to go back to normal. They insist that things go back to normal. They, gotta, they are adamant on things going back yeah. to normal. Guess what? The environment doesn't care. The environment doesn't care. Whether you're going to knock your head against the wall, nobody cares. You got to adjust to the environment. So to do that requires you to be creative to come up with new new things. Well, there's like a recalibration process that's right. happening, right? Whatever you think is normal is just something that you've sort of adjusted to. That's why a lot of uh, people right now uh, are going through difficult times. It's difficult for people who want it to be normal. Right. Normal to them means go back to the old ways that I'm used to. That no longer that exists. That no longer exists. Yeah. So that requires the second type of energy that I talked about called creativity. So when you could have some form of, you see, creat creativity comes from inspiration, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes in your thoughts, you come up with a new idea. Sometimes you hear it in other people's speeches. Sometimes you get inspired by other people. All these are energy. Yeah. Suppose you don't have access to all this. You could be thinking and thinking, meditating and meditating for <laughs> ages and nothing happens. Yeah. Okay, some people meditate and nothing happens. Yeah. Why? Because they don't have the source of creativity. And cre creation is the source of life. You think about it. Well, the world. Yeah. The entire universe is constantly expanding and creating. 
And so when you are doing create, creative work, you're helping this world. Yeah, and, and I think it's also, I, even going back to your idea of meditation, where you kind of just sit there and do the same thing. Well, I think if there is no source, if there's nothing new, if there's nothing moving, you get frustrated. You, you're just gonna sit there yeah. and you're like, it's a waste of time. Yeah, it is. And if you think about this, right? You, although we are talking about business, but even if you look at a personal relationship side, yeah. right? Personal relationship, why are people frustrated? They're frustrated because they can't get what they want. Mm -hmm. They want things to go back to normal. You yeah. used to be like this, why you're not like this right. anymore? They never thought, I could be creative and solve this problem. Yeah. Yeah. I could be creative and become better, yeah. right? I can become creative and make things become happier for yeah. everybody. You gotta be the source of happiness in that relationship. Don't be the source of complaint. Yeah. Don't be the source of when people want to see you, they want to turn around, yeah. right? A lot of people would think, oh, you, what will happen if I, some people have a third party, some people have a, <laughs> a, another relationship, why is it like that? That is because you keep attracting these people. Mm -hmm. Your energy attracts these sort of people. Yeah. Change that energy and the outcome will change. Yeah, and, and I think what you said too, uh, I think you really touched on the whole mindset and you know, making decisions out of desperation and, and finding creativity and things like that. Um, we are in the midst of a pandemic. We're slowly coming out of it, I would think. But people are worried that it's going to come again. It might. You know? As long as there's no vaccine, it might come again. And uh, when it does, you got to have the ammunition yeah. to move faster. You see, uh, you, you got to look at this. Bigger problems will also mean bigger opportunities, yeah. okay? It depends on whether we're going to step up or step down mm -hmm. in, this, in this time. To step up requires energy, even to step down requires energy to fight off all these evils, right? Yeah. So in this period of time, if we could accumulate the resources that we need, this could be the time that you could build your empire, build your legacy. Mm -hmm. if, you don't re if you just retract right now, yeah. you're going to lose out like the rest of these people. And how long do you think you need to be able to, what you say, expand and forever. Your legacy? What, forever? It's an ongoing thing, right? right? Just think about this. The moment we stop expanding, think about this. Our competitors or whoever it is will, will succeed you. Mm -hmm. And that's the same in a relationship. The people keep thinking, just get married, that's, that's the end. Yeah. No, that's when it starts, that yeah. you're gonna become better. Why is it that the, the wife or the husband look for another person? Because that person stopped improving. Every day you talk about the same stories. Have something new to talk about. Have something more to add to that relationship. Right. And you will always grow and you will yeah. always expand. That's the same with business. Yeah. If you don't expand your services, yeah. you don't expand your value, yeah. your business will die down. Okay, and this is what happens when the pandemic happens. It's going to wipe out all the weak people. Well, okay, so you talk about business and expansion, but there's different people in different stages or right. in terms of financial situations, Correct. Right? Correct. So there's there's the big investors that have many properties and you know, we're here talking about property and investment. Mm -hmm. What would you say to someone that is looking to spend, you know, two, three million or, or what would you say to those kind of people that are willing to, to, to do more and expand? Okay. Is it a good time? What, what, All right, it's good. There, there are different types of people who yeah. do it different stages of life. I totally agree with that. If you are struggling, there are yeah. three stages right here, just to address your question. Okay, the first one is called strugglers, okay? That means they're struggling at this point in time, right? The second stage is called surviving. I'm surviving, I have a few things that I'm doing pretty okay, but the rest, I'm not so alright, so I'm surviving. And the third stage is called thriving. Mm. So people with the cash right now, they're thriving. They're yeah. thriving because everything is cheap, yes. right? As long as they can go past the next two, three years, they'll be all right. So yeah. they don't have a problem because yeah. they're thriving. Yeah. So for those who are not at the thriving stage, your job is to get to the thriving stage. Yes. You see, I, I tell you a very simple story here. Uh, uh, it's, it's like this. In, if you're on a Titanic right now, and the Titanic just hit the iceberg, right? Yeah. And you know the Titanic goes from, from UK all the way to the States. Yeah. And if it just hit the iceberg right now, tell me, is anyone on board at the Titanic at that time still thinking about what they're gonna have for dinner in New York? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, Absolutely. why not? Okay. Because the plans have changed. Yes. It is an emergency. Yes. In an emergency, you change your plans. You change from strategy yeah. to tactics, yeah. okay? So what happens right now is tactic-wise has to change. You gotta change what you do. So if you're on a struggling stage, your, your, your whole ship is sinking, yeah. what you need to do is get out of that water, <laughs> right? So there'll be different feng shui formations as well. You're not thinking about, oh, what, 20, 30 years, what I'm gonna do. Right. I'm gonna think about what I can do now to survive. Mm -hmm. And if you're on a survival stage, all you need to do is accumulate. Accumulate a little bit or raise the funds because there are people with money, there are people with access to resources. Mm -hmm. Your job is to connect. Use your time to create the connection, 
access the funds and now the, the, the whatever your dreams your dreams require yeah. funds yeah access them yeah. and you can now have access to wealth right and, and what would you say to someone that is struggling that is survive okay, okay. survive yeah. survive if you are struggling you cannot invest mm. because you have problem putting food on the table Okay. Yes, if, right. if if you can't make money with a thousand bucks, you can't make money with ten thousand bucks. Mm -hmm. You can't make money with a million bucks yeah. because you're losing money at a thousand bucks. Okay. So it doesn't make sense to go forward. First, you need to educate yourself. Okay. So for those who are struggling, yeah. the first thing you look for is education, because what sets you apart than the rest of the people who are not struggling is what you know. Education is the key. Okay. So get to a place where there's feng shui for education, mm -hmm. where you could learn where you could master a new skill set. Yeah. With that, it gives you a chance to move from struggling to survive. Yeah. And those who are in surviving, you learn a new skill, education once again, yeah. it gets you closer to thriving. Yeah. So the missing link is education. Right. And I guess with thriving, would you say, you know, continue as, as normal? No, or? Uh, for those who are thriving, now is your chance to look for areas that has a five, 10 year uh, prosperity. Right. Because that's when, you, that's when you, you acquire now so that you could cash out at that time or you could actually prosper from the results of your, your investment yeah. because you're thriving, yeah. right? This is the time to move forward. Those who are in the surviving stage move to thriving immediately. Yeah. Then you can play small, right? But those who are struggling needs to, needs to get to survival first. You gotta survive. Mm. This is what you need to do. Well, I know that you talked about like five to 10 years and, and, and in Feng Shui, it goes into nine years cycle? Feng Shui goes in a 20 year cycle. 20 year so cycle. Uh, we are in the cups of that change, of course. Right. So that's why you have this. So um, the next, you won't get this opportunity again, probably for the next 10 to 12 years. Right. Okay, so right now, of course, a lot of people say, what opportunity are you talking about? <laughs> it's a pandemic. Yeah. Uh, to the people who are struggling, yes. Yeah. To the people who are surviving and thriving, it is an opportunity an opportunity to access what is previously not accessible. Interesting. And, and is that just an overarching big statement or what do you mean by, you know, what is not accessible? You mean okay, for funds, example, do you mean? Now, now that, you see, the thing is people think there are no funds. Yeah. That's the first thinking you, you, you gotta change. Mm. There are funds, there are access to funds. The question is there's lack of creativity and lack of ideas mm. and lack of opportunities to put those funds. Mm. If you have money right now, you got to put in something that has potential returns, yes or no? Yes. If you don't have money, your first job is to look for money, yes. right? So that is a simple equation. Yeah. So opportunities are only available for people who have access to that. So your job is either A, you already have it, or B, you find access to it. So that's why in Feng Shui, we look at how to access noble people, how to access networking, how to access the right people so that we can raise the resources that we need to fund the ideas that we want. Well, I think also, I, as you're telling me, I'm, I'm sort of extracting, you know, it's, it's instead of sitting there and being upset and angry that you don't have money, get out there, go meet people, learn something, yes. be around other people, get other people's energy and create That's more opportunities That's for yourself. Correct. So Feng Shui is only a tool to speed that process up. Mm. So if, you, if you're going to meet people, just because you're going to, you, you might meet low quality people. <laughs> Right, probably worse than you, yeah. right? So what do you do? That's when you access the directional uh, points of feng shui, be where the water is, yeah. be access to nice energy, so yeah. that you, when you meet people, you meet the higher quality people, right? right? Otherwise, you'll be meeting people that need no, more of your help, yeah. and it will take a lot of your time, yeah. okay? So that's the, the difference of using feng shui, mm -hmm. okay? So of course, you can do that without feng shui, it just takes longer time. Yeah. Yeah, and so um, back back into the cycles, um, we were saying that you know we're sort of in a cusp. Like, what year are we in now, and when is the the full transition or? takes place in 2023, 24. Okay. Okay, so we have time. Okay, we've got uh, time. <laughs> I, I like the fact that we have time to. Uh, now I'm not saying that this pandemic is a good thing. It's not a good thing. A lot of people are hurt. Yeah. It's a bad thing. However, it's happened. It's yeah. happening. So what we need to do is we need to see the what what we can learn from this. Mm -hmm. And what can we do right now yeah. instead of just when will it be over? Yeah. When it's over, you might not be here. That's the problem, right? <laughs> so you need to make sure that you are still an A player when these things happen. And Fire Element talks about technology, yeah. self-improvement. People don't like to work in a big environment, right? Everyone's their own boss. Yeah. We are in line with what we call direction of growth. Yeah. You make money faster. You become prosperous faster. Yeah. But I would look at the ability to connect. Okay, that's where the water comes in, yes. right? Okay, so and at the highest level is thriving so that your money works hard for you, right? 